Hello friends, in this video we will learn about memoization. What is memoization, how does it work and how powerful it is. So let's start. So memoization is an optimization technique where you cache the previously computed results and then return the cache result when the same computation is needed again. So what does it mean? So let's see with the help of an example. We'll take an example of Fibonacci series. A Fibonacci series is a series of numbers in which each number is the sum of two preceding number. So here we have a simple Fibonacci series where each term is the sum of previous two numbers. Example, 8 is the sum of 3 and 5. Similarly, 13 is the sum of 5 and 8. So if we want to implement this Fibonacci series, how can we do that? So I have implemented a Fibonacci function using recursion. As we see in the Fibonacci series, the first two terms are 1 and 1. So if the value of n is less than 2 or equal to 2, then we will return 1. Else we will calculate the Fibonacci value of previous two terms, add them and return the value. So now let us print the first few terms of this Fibonacci series. So we'll start for i in range 1 to uh, we'll print the first uh, 37 terms 36 terms print we'll print both the values the current value and its Fibonacci value so let's print it and let's see the result So friends as you can see here the first few terms were printed very fast and as the bigger value is passed to this function it is taking a lot of time. This is because of the recursion. It is calculating the Fibonacci value of the previous two uh, values and then adding them and returning them. So it's taking a lot of time. So let's see with the help of an uh, diagram. In this diagram as you can see we are calculating the Fibonacci value of number 6. To calculate the Fibonacci value of 6, we have to calculate the Fibonacci value of previous two terms that is 5 and 4. Then add these two terms and return the value. And similarly for 5, calculate the Fibonacci value of previous two terms, add them and return them. And keep doing this. So in this tree, as you can see here, the value 4, Fibonacci value of 4 is calculated twice. Similarly, Fibonacci value of 3 is calculated three times. Similarly for 2, 5 times and and for 1 as well. So suppose instead of 6 if we are calculating the Fibonacci value of some bigger number then how many times a particular value will be calculated again and again. So the solution to this problem is memoization. So let's see what is memoization and how does it work. So friends I have here implemented the Fibonacci function using memoization technique. Here I am using a list this list will be used to store the values and return the computed values whenever needed. So here again we are taking n as argument. We will first check if that n is already in that list. If yes, we will return that value. If not, then we will do the similar steps as we had done in the previous function. But here instead of returning the value, we will store the value first and then return them. If the value of n is less than or equal to 2, we will set the return value as 1 and store it in the cache. Else, we will calculate the Fibonacci value of previous two terms, set that value to the return value and store that into the cache. Now let's try to print the Fibonacci values with the help of this method. For i in range 1 to 37 print i fib mem of i so now let's print this see the values printed here are very fast compared to the previous method so you can see the memorization technique is helping us to compute the results very fast now instead of computing it till 37 let's compute it to some bigger value let's compute it till 100 Let's print the values. 
Look, even the value of 99 is computed pretty fast using the memoization technique. So guys, this is all about memoization. We will come up with some more interesting videos. Please subscribe to our channel. Till then, goodbye.